The Rival The Return of Blake by Rachel Lawson The Rival When the Emperor's secret wife is discovered as pregnant, the rumor mill was spinning like crazy, and the rumors are that he was the father. The rumors were true, but that was a problem he could not come out as the father, as he married her as his grandson Alexandrite or Blake before he traveled back in time and became his own grandfather. Thankfully, no one suspected he was her husband Blake, who was deposed as emperor of his solar system as a semi-dead Grim Reaper. Blake was now the grandfather Fred was still a Reaper, and hid it well, but he was still easily deposable as the emperor of the universe as a dead man if he was proven his grandson, which his rivals would have liked. He was very scared for the universe if he was revealed as Blake, so much so that he visited Blake's son the Timekeeper, who ruled time as its prince. Hi boy, I need your help, said the worried father. I was waiting for you, said Tempest the son. Nice to hear, I have a favor to ask you, said Fred. I'll let you ask, said Tempest, who knew what he wanted to ask him already from watching everything in time happen. Thanks, said Fred, I need help from you, can you bring me a Blake to play the father of my baby? I will find you somewhere in your lifeline to play father to the baby, said Tempest. Thank you, said Fred. Fred went home again and hoped all would go well. The next day, Fred went to an intergalactic summit. To find Blake was not only at the summit, he was also playing the father a little too well, his wife had fallen for his new look. It seemed. Fred recognized the man who had stolen his wife. It was truly him, but one thousand years younger, it was him in his bearded time when he was the wizard Merlin. Fred was clean-shaven, he wondered if he should grow a beard to get his wife to like him again, and then he realized it was ridiculous he was jealous of himself. It still hurt a lot, no matter who stole his wife.